This is the Billion Dollar Startup Series. Your host, the Angel King. So let's discuss Indonero. So Ross, mm-hmm. tell me about the people and the founding team at Indonero. So the founding team is quite interesting in that uh, it's led by one one uh, a young woman named uh, Jessica Ma. Uh, she's they're based in San, uh, San Francisco Silicon Valley um, and, and Jessica Ma had has been a coder from a very early age um, again you know getting back to our Angel King's formula looking for people first um, she is literally the perfect combination of being a hacker hustler as well as social media maker right so those are the three elements we look for before we write a check on the one hand she can code she's been doing it since she's 10 or 11 uh, on the other hand she can drive business and oftentimes by having being a young founder uh, particularly where we need more and more females like uh, you know a strong female like her as a CEO that's driven a lot of business uh, so I think she fits all elements in social media as well she gets a lot of press for that so she fits all three uh, in that way for our people part of our formula Gotcha. So, the product. Mm-hmm. Do you actually use the product, and do you think it's going to be around for the next fifteen years? So, I never make an investment as an angel investor, as venture capitalist, unless I've used the product. Mm-hmm. Uh, and I think I highly encourage anybody who's getting into angel investing to do the same. Um, so, I did start out using the product. Uh, it's a SaaS model, so it's it's one that allows a business, a small, mid-sized business, which is, by the way, ninety plus percent of America is built on the exact audience in which or to which, to whom they advertise, right? Mm. Um, and so I started out having a, a smaller business that grew in a mid-sized business and sort of it's grown, but using Indonero. So right? you think it has the potential to be a billion dollar company 20 years out? So I do. Um, I think one of the challenges that SaaS companies face, uh, particularly such as Indonero, uh, Mint.com w- was a three or four hundred million dollar acquisition. Uh, it didn't get to that n- next level mm-hmm. probably because they sold too soon. I think Jessica Ma, getting back to people, is a type who's probably not going to sell it early, right? And they have you have to, particularly in a SaaS model, a CRM model, one that provides a smaller or you know B two B play. You've got to be patient, yeah. right? Um, and you have to be patient in that you can't expect a you know five million dollar ARR our annual uh, run rate company to turn into billion dollar overnight. Sometimes it takes longer. You know, getting in front of businesses who are busy and need to understand the value add takes time. But yeah, I do think it'll be around 20 years from now if they do it right. Gotcha. So, in a sense of execution, yeah. do you think that she is driving the need for customers? She is, um, and, and one of the things we look for at Angel Kings is how do they? How do you build a community? A community that evangelizes your product, so you almost don't have to spend as much. And I can tell you from a personal standpoint that having you know, you know, have, every business needs accounting, right? Mm-hmm. Nothing in life is certain but death or taxes, right. and so there's going to be a need for it, right? And and hooking up and essentially what Indonero does is it syncs up to your accounting, QuickBooks, as well as your bank, and sends you a really nice platform in which it. Uh, gives you analysis or analytical metrics on your spending. Um, I can see it around 20 years from now if they if they evolve into having more developers built on it. Um, and and by the way, I think it's a phenomenal thing that solves a serious pain point, right? Which turns into billion dollar companies, which is what we're talking about. Absolutely. Okay. Um, well, their timing, their timing in the market couldn't be better. Um, when did they come into the market and how do they plan to exit? Are they going to be uh, acquired? Are they looking to be acquired or are they looking to build a platform to IPO? So the biggest thing you need to look for as an angel investor is how do you get your money back, mm-hmm. right? The, your IRR the, or your ROIs, it's, it's uh, one of the most common expressions. Why not put your money in the public market? And in that in this particular case, they're doing major hiring. I know they're hiring hundreds of people and uh, you know, across different countries, and and I believe they'll continue to partner with some of the big players. You know, in this space that they face, they've got Intuit, QuickBooks. I think what they're probably going to do, my guess, is to partner first, and then either figure out whether they're an acquisition target or an IPO themselves. Major upside, and I'm really looking forward as it being an investor in Indonero to seeing that liquidity event, which is what every angel investor should be looking for. So uh, it's a great company, and uh, I, I only look. I, I think it's got a seriously bright future. We've got a rankings about it in our book and on our website as well. So, well, thank you so much, yeah, Ross. No problem. Thanks for your strong advice today. If you want to learn more, please visit AngelKings.com. Learn how you too can invest in America's next top startups.
Visit angelkings.com today.